I love sausage rolls. They're usually made with beef or pork mince, but I'm going to show you a different version using kangaroo sausages. They are so delicious. So what I've done is given myself a bit of a head start here. Onions, carrot, I've fried off in some oil, a pinch of salt, and you want them to soften. Now I'm just going to allow this to cool down because we need to add this to our mixture in a moment. So for the kangaroo sausages, I'm going to be using bush tomato sausages. I love the flavour of them. And the best thing about kangaroo is it's a great alternative. It's lean and it's high in protein and iron. You'll see they've got the casings on them, but for sausage rolls, we want to remove that. So the best way to do this is just use a little sharp knife like this, cut down the centre and simply remove the casings like so. Now, of course, you can use just plain mince, but I think these sausage rolls are going to taste even better with these sausages because of the bush tomato that's added to this. So we'll just take all the skins off and then we can add our carrot and onion. And the onion and carrot mixture has cooled down, so we can pop that in. Some breadcrumbs, I like to use some fresh breadcrumbs, about a handful, a good pinch of salt and freshly cracked pepper. Now the best way to mix this is with your hands just to combine everything together and squish it to really break down the kangaroo sausages. Really give this a good mix because you want the consistency to be quite sticky just like this. Okay, pastry. I'm using just classic puff pastry you get from your supermarket. So two squares for my recipe and we're going to cut that in half straight down the centre and working with one piece of pastry at a time. I'll place a quarter of this mixture on one side, just down the base and spread it out. And the meat will expand so you don't want to overfill the sausage rolls. Some egg wash. And now we're just going to roll the sausage roll. You can see that the plastic's still there. That's OK. We can take that off now. And then roll again. And we want the seam side down. So press that down. Some more egg wash. I have a mixture here of sesame seeds, fennel seeds, some nigella seeds. Just gives this a really lovely rustic look. So we're just going to sprinkle that over the top. Also, the flavour is fantastic. And you can cut these into any shape you like, but I'm going to keep it really classic. So straight down the centre for a large sausage roll and then we'll pop them onto a tray. These now go into the fridge for half an hour. Then they'll go into the oven 200 degrees for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown.